All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today, well, yesterday was my birthday, but today we're at this epic vintage warehouse thrift store that we've never been to before. It's about two hours away from our house and we're gonna go check it out. We just pulled into the parking lot and we made it to the location. This is kind of uh, cool, really cool looking. It's super cool. Liking it, liking it. Like it, like it. But we stopped at Starbucks. Coffee before it claims. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Before we went here, and the Starbucks was in a little town called Glen Rock. This whole town was named after this big rock. So we had to meet him. Or in her. person. <laughs> and somebody threw another rock on top of the rock. Look at this big rock. I wonder the significance of the Glenny. Damn. You'd never be able to get Glenny. You could pick up Glenny and bring him back. Gonna, I'm saying you can never get the full Glenny. On the photo? No way. No way. Unless you do 0.5, I don't have to think. Glen Rock. And we drove through it and it was super nice. Blew our expectations away for how nice this place is because a lot of places in New Jersey could go either way. Yeah, so what do you think we're going to see in here? I have no idea. The picture you showed me was like, I only saw like a couple of them. It was like a warehouse. So I'm just expecting like a big warehouse with lots of clothes. I'm going to find like vintage crew neck with like a big ass cat on it. Mm, an oversized. No, that's, that's just the crow queen. I have one back there. You already got it. All right. We're going to head in, gonna join in. us as we go on the most epic thrifting quest known to man and woman. All right, here we go. About to enter. This is what the door looks like. Let's do it. Alright, there's gonna be music there's music on in here, so I'm gonna have to do some cuts, a lot of cuts for you guys. Look at this dude. That's what my dad likes. Dad just got one of those recently. Yeah, so here's the pricing. Should I take a picture of it so we know? Yeah. There's gotta be something like that in the warehouse part. Yeah, because this is like Super just the cool. front of it. Look how cool this is. That is pretty nice. I mean, that would be cool on you. Look, some old school Abercrombie. <laughs> it's not even that old though. How cool is that? The Monopoly, man. Wow. They did the, the stitching really good on that. They did. If this was like way bigger, I'd get it. Even if I wasn't pregnant. Because I don't like jean jackets when they're like tight. See, this is where the gold would be though. In, in in these, but we'll go in the back there. This is a crazy. Well, trading elements, Lakers, Tons. Far City. <laughs> All right, we're into the group. Let's see how it is. Look at this. Massive space in here. All right, so this is when you get into it. Look, they got all the beanies you could ever want. This is a good quality, though. Like thick. These are tiny, but I like these ones. I've been finding anything. That one's empty. That must have been a popular bin. Women's 80 windbreakers. Legit. Sean Mendez, the tour. Look at this, all military, military thermals, camo hats, jackets, military sweaters, scout shirts, military pants, hunting camo, midi tops, not sure what that is. 
military turnix. They got bicycle jerseys. Dave Mayer on fleek. Yeah, I found Dave Mayer's dream. A whole thing of vintage bicycle jerseys. Lance in the house. Military. Look at this though. Military jackets. Or like security jackets. No, these are fancy scarves. I'm uh, about that. <laughs> Extra cute Mickey crewnecks. Extra cute Mickey crewnecks. You don't have any. <laughs> Let's see. Some fire car hearts in there. Yeah. Some fire. I mean, not that one, but like ones that are vintage for. Like definitely. Yeah. Older. You oughta. You oughta see Kent Creek's mines. What does that mean? Mm -mm. That's like fire tea, though. What's it say on that? Lilburn, Georgia. I'm thinking that might be a call. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no idea. I think that's pretty cool. You don't just find stuff like this at regular thrifties, though. Like that easily, you know what I mean? Uh, New York. All right, we're gonna put this in there. Just, just in there. Just in there. <laughs> and then just get it out when you want it. You know what I mean? Gotcha. This is the kind I like. I may not be rich, but my kids are priceless. That's pretty much gold, though. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like I this. could see you I think rocking I'm that. Get this, just cause... this is the same deal like with the other place where the, a lot of stuff probably has stains, but that's just what you're living with. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's not like this place tried to clean it. No, no, I'm just saying it's like to get the gold you're gonna have to deal with. Yeah, some of the stains come out like I've gotten like a bunch of shirts in there and like sometimes they don't, but I feel like it adds to it. And sometimes they do come out. But... I don't mind them. Yeah, yeah. It's just like sometimes when you try and sell stuff like that. People get mad about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I always like, I, I never understood that. I was just like, you're getting a shirt from like the somebody, 70s or 80s, dude. Like, it's like 20, yeah. Buy like, it just because it had stains on yeah. it. Like, they wanted it to look yeah. like that. Yeah. I yeah, that's the sure, thing. Some of the stuff's like 20 hurt. years older yeah. than me, and it's like, obviously, it's worn. That, yeah. That's why you want it, right? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly, exactly. Do you come here a lot? Yeah, I mean, yeah. This is like, for here, like, this is probably like the, one of the best. There are stores around here. Are you guys from the area? No, we're from like Ocean City, okay, New okay. Jersey, like Atlantic City. Okay, okay, yeah. This is probably like the the best one. Um, there's another one around here. It's called it's like it's called um, Value Village. You guys okay, should, yeah, yeah, we were gonna go there. Yeah, after. You guys should hit that. Yeah. yeah, and then there's like uh, the red, white, and blue place. Like they have a little bit more like like more like modern stuff there. I guess more of like we know of it because we we have one uh, okay. uh, down south. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's it's all right. That's it's like our, our one friend. He does a lot of eBay stuff. Okay. He goes there all the time. Yeah, he loves it. Yeah, all like the there's not really one. Like there's enough. Uh, there's like a Goodwill around here that's pretty good. But yeah, this is probably like the the best one to, to go to. What's your name? David Tucker. Tucker, nice to meet you, man. You too, dude. <laughs> I'm just looking for personal. But you could get this for my mom. Oh my god. She will be a grandma. Would well, she, she actually, already is she a grandma. She already is a grandma. But would she actually wear this? Uh, she would think it was hilarious. At the least. <laughs> grandma. <laughs> yeah, we went to one fat shirt for you. Except Look at that. That's kind of yeah. sick, though. It is. It has a little mouse on it. Damn, it's got a crazy stain. It's pretty stain. old, though. I mean, you could bleach it, right? I, would, I mean, I don't even care about the stain. I would under get the armpit, that. It gets a little weird. Yeah. 
I'm already gonna like actually be sweating. There's Sammy. With the Tweety on the bottom. That looks like it came out of a crazy. That was that was in the that's from ninety two though. Look at that. But why is it gotta be tan? <laughs> why is that you could uh <laughs> That's like a whole stain. What do you mean? That's what you get. Sweat, sweat, sweat the whole shirt out. That's what you get. Look like at that. Dip that in a bowl of sweat. <laughs> it smells so good. Like fresh linens. Like this guy over here washed it. I'm not gonna be pregnant during Christmas, but. I mean, look at this Warner Brothers dream now. I saw it before. Yeah. It's kind of sick. Yeah, it is sick. Yeah. Acme Clothing Co. Too. Like it's their own logo. Uh, what do you call it? It's really small though. Yeah, that all that jazz. No way. <laughs> There's some vintage pure gold in here, literally. All right, we got the the Rankin brothers signed with love. The Rankins. God bless. It's pretty gold, actually. Gettysburg. We hope it's Beach Polo Club though, with the polo thing on it. Is That's kind of sick. Look. Super yeah. Sweet. I would get that. This right here is really cool. Not for me, but Mickey and Minnie Christmas shirt. All right, they got a big and tall section. Well, I like my stuff big, so. That makes sense. Yeah, I got something for you. Not that. This. This. <gasps> Boo to you. Why is it coming off though? Because they made it, right? No, it's a legit like Halloween company. That's like, super that's a cool. Thing. Maybe over time, right? Still cool. I would say that's a claim. That's a claim. This one though, look how crazy this is. Still with the tag from 1991 so crazy. from Walmart. Damn, Walmart stepped their game up, huh? What do you got, a dress? Yeah, I don't know, I just picked it up. This is a 13 of 14 made in the US. Side. Look, this is how they crunch the stuff down and put it in those things. The, the clothing compactor. Wow, and then put it in bales. Wait, is That's crazy. Clothing? That's from Salvation Army. Right? Yeah. What you got over there? I'm looking for silk. You got any silk? But these are just like, like I'm literally wearing this <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, so we just want to make it clear not everything in here is like vintage, obviously, but they categorize it into like cartoon shirts. I thought this would be a cool skate brand tees, but not much in there. I looked through it. You got to dig here. This is one of them places where you got to dig. What'd you get? I got a terry cloth, which is my favorite for bathrobes or anything in general. Uh, Ralph Lauren XL. Cute. Nice. Right? Everything's organized and different. All oh, this is leather in here. Men's leather. Men's medium weight jackets. What are they calling these? They don't have a name on those. What is it says? Harley sweatshirts, but then they crossed it out. All right, thank you. What do you do there? He made a sushi roll for the clothing. All right, we just left the spot. Pretty, pretty cool. Definitely pick through. Uh, I could imagine on certain days when they open bows and throw them in there that it would be a lot better, but we paid 50 bucks and we got 12 pieces of clothing or something like that. So it wasn't really priced that bad. It was priced pretty good actually. And it is like 90 degrees out. It's hot, it's hot, hot. And to be honest, you don't find stuff like this 
at regular thrift stores in that amount the only thing is you got to dig in there like all day long to go through that whole warehouse it would take a week but we're gonna go to a different thrift store check it out maybe check out the skate park too check out the chickens we got this nice plop nice sushi roll of clothing Easy and we camp. out success success okay so we left there we met the kid in there though and he kind of explained this place well he said it's generally like a like a thrift store but every so often if you dig enough you'll find a real good gem but we got some really cool stuff there uh just nothing like bam nothing mind-blowing nothing mind-blowing which you can't always get a mind-blowing piece everywhere you go as we well know but we're at Value Village now. We're gonna check it out. Value Village. Here we go. Yep. They got vending machines. Wow, big dog store. This is cool though, because it's like a mix between a big cart and one of the little carts and you can pull it like this or I can pull I can pull it <laughs> trust nobody yo look at these pricing though twenty dollars for that yeah look at these beauties though those are nice cowboy booties Beauties. Cowboy beauties. Uh, they said booty tooties. Booty tooties. Booty What's this? Cool. They weren't Oh, working. what? These put real crazy tagging on these, though. This is 24 bucks. It's only from 2019. Yeah. That's insane yeah. pricing. Yeah. All right, they have, like, the main tees advertised at the top. Let's look at them. See if they're even old. Look at that, 40 bucks. Rob Zombie. Crazy pricing in here. South Beach. Sorry. No way, this is so cool. It is cool. Gotta have to get that. Should we just get it? Southie kind of. It's metal though. Yeah. Yeah, you should ride on that. Why can't you be squatting down there? You know how hard it is for me to get back up after sitting down that long. <laughs> Look for Fin Fin. She's gonna have a blinged out one like that though. Yeah. <laughs> this saw right here. $25 for that. Wow. They're selling a sample of paint for three bucks. And this saw for $25. I'm starting to think that the pricing is more than Home Depot in the tool well, section. This is why. Oh wait, no, our cart isn't empty. <laughs> we have that. We have that. That's still overpriced, but it's very unique. It's unique to us. Never seen this before. And they underpriced this. Look at this. Well, they priced it. Uh, it's a terry cloth skirt. They huh? priced it to move it. And the only person who ever wanted it was you. Because look. But it's for the beach, because then you could be like, <laughs> just like that. I'll do that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's only 90. Oh no, it's not. That's $6.99. I thought I said 99 cents. Seven dollars. That's well overpriced. <laughs> not, not, not. I mean, it's doable for this sure. This is for actually. Like, would this actually? Be? Yeah. This is how crazy this is, though. This sweatshirt right here. $24.99, unbranded basically. I just seen one online for $11.90, brand new from Kohl's. Why would you buy it used for twice as much? This is pretty classic. Ariel from the Infinity dealership or repairs place. Pretty cool. I'm not really cut out for the massive overpricing of clothing. I don't know what's up with it. It's pretty insane. It's it's intense. 
Like these jeans right here are $13. All right, I checked, I checked, I checked the coochie, okay? These are new. They don't have tags on them, but look. They look like they've been worn once or twice. No, coochie's good. They got some schmagma left in there. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing that. All right, here's nah. the test, white ones, okay? You would know, you would know. Okay, so she's got a point. The, no schmagma. The underwear here no are cheap. Acidic, uh... Very cheap compared to at this store. Yeah, for like brands that, are, you know, I mean, you can go to Target and buy like shitty ones, but this is like hand-picked. So they're already good because they're hand-picked by somebody who knew that they were comfy. Vintage Victoria's Secret. That's nice. So you, you got what you came for. For three bucks. Like, yeah, everything else is a little bit pricey. Like the clothes, clothes. No, she didn't. The fact that I just got stoked about a Charlotte Roosters. <laughs> No joke, this actually looks legit. Keeping the motion in poetry. If it has a zipper, does that mean it, it's a gold? I mean, usually when there's a zipper on it, it's legit. Look at this but Toy Story just... dream pillowcase. Hold this for a sec. Mm -hmm. This is a diamond in the rough. Out here. Toy Story theme. Cool. Is it old? I don't know. I mean, I guess it would have to be, right? Yeah, you would think, right? This whole section right here is nicely organized for the babies, though. Well, socks for baby Finn. Look at this. I got a Snoop Dogg, the dog father shirt, but it's $130. Crazy. Put that over there again. <laughs> All right, we left there. The pricing was a little bit insane, but she did get a whole bunch of underwear. And they gave us these two big bottles of hand sanitizer for free. What a dream that is. Right? I was sure. hand These are too. huge. They're nice. Look what this says up here. Some of the Patterson Silk Machinery Exchange. Is that what this is? Yeah, Silk Life. Is that? In business stuff? It looks like it yeah, must be. Yeah, and those people live in there, where's that? These are crazy oh, uh, factories. It is so cool. It is cool. Gotta have to get that. Should we just get it? Okay, we made it to the Patterson Skate Park. We're under Route 80 Bridge. Well, this is a highway above us. Kind of like how FDR is under 95. Check it out. We came for the half pipe. Because everything else is too gnarly for me. Right here it is. Mini pipe. Gonna go the first the first drop in here. First drop in in months.
that was short-lived, but I got some tricks down and I don't want to risk it too much and get hurt. But we might be able to catch the waterfall before it gets dark. Yes, I found out there was a waterfall near here. Hopefully we can actually go to it. It says pedestrian like pathway on it. I don't know what that means, but hopefully we'll be able to catch the waterfall before it rains. Okay, we came out to adventure and explore and the GPS is taking us through this crazy ass tunnel. No, you can't go under there. Yeah, it's a road. Should I get out and look? No. I think it's a, it's a road for sure. Well, um, I mean, it's kind of our only, only choice here. Um, what is this? It's a road for sure. Just be careful you don't hit your side because you're super close. This is just crazy. Turn right onto New Jersey 23 North, then use the second from the left lane yeah. to turn left onto Willow Park Boulevard. If you go from like the place where we're at staying to that little tunnel in that short amount of time. <laughs> what is this? The Home Decor Superstore at home. It smells like chicken. Oh, they have a life storage in here and also a trampoline park. This is the, like the biggest warehouse I've seen to date. This Blows away like, like the Walmart. Think about it. It's open until 9. Oh, wait, 10. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knew about this? Shout out if you got an at home in your neighborhood. Excuse what is this place? Is it like uh, Walmart? No. But better? Oh, it smells better than Walmart. What is this place? Every room, every style, every day. Low prices. This is the home Walmart of home goods. <laughs> Isn't it? All right, they have like a gardening section. Gnomes, fake concrete. They're not actually concrete. Pretty cool though. Wagon wheels. We got the pillow section. Pink pillows for Finland. These are nice actually. I've seen these before. Did we have one of these? Wow, so I know what this is for. This is like for set designer people. Yeah. Cause you could get any pillow in here you ever wanted. That's so smart. Lantern fire pit. That's actually really good. So it's like designed like a giant lantern, but it's just a fire pit. That's super cool. It's, per it's perfect. It's really cool. This one's nice too. This one is nice. Put the propane in the bottom. Wow. This Put that out on the back deck. Live uh, the dream. This is really nice, this one. That's this like is the one you get. That's a proper pit, but. Yeah, I mean, it's all metal. It would get rusty in like a year. But it would be fun while it lasted. Wow, this is where you get like the seat cushions. Those are so, not seat cushions. To match anything, right? I'm just saying it's so cheap. Like those are $19. They sell them for like, like 30 or 40 of big lots. Hammock. <laughs> they got more fake plants in here than a whole forest worth. Look at this. These must be in vogue. <laughs> Look at this one though. Woo! Oh, these are like dark sushi. Ooh. Ooh. Mango wood. What's mango wood? Is it I don't heavy? know, but it's nice. It's really cool. Oh, no, yeah, this is light. It's only the top of this one. Look at this wavy thing. Wow, this is cool. Is this a dresser? I'm gonna go ahead and say this is mango wood. <laughs> 450 bucks. I can see why though. Yeah, that's, that's super cool. This is for like legit set design in here. They have everything you would need to build a living room or anything else for not that crazy of prices. It's just hot out here. Look at this. Imagine crow, crow, scissor, pump up, and then probably Rue could have like a better one than those ones. Oh, of course. No, or just this one right here. Queen chair. Finley would have. Okay, I'm gonna start here, all the way in the far corner. 
and then I'm gonna snap my fingers and then we're gonna fast forward all the way up to Sammy. Let's go. Where's the bat? What's this one? There's the runners. What are you gonna get in here? I just needed a bath mat. So nothing at all. No, oh. No, these are kitchen mats. They have all the mats in the world. They have bath mats? These are bath mats. What do you mean? No, they're not. No, they're not. Really, really sad when we left. That's a sign. M J. Sam. Schnazzy. We just both picked up different ones of these <laughs> and we're like, but oh, these are so cool. This would be a cool prop for like a kid who is into dinosaurs though. Or for anyone really. It's just so cool looking. Consumer heaven in here. It's tripping me out. Look at this. The big dog. Wow. The dinosaur. $115 though for that, obviously. Obviously. But. It's a rolling coffee table or shelf that's made to look like a crate. Like the crate that we got out of the trash. It's literally the same. Apply today and if approved, get 10% off your first purchase. Six months special purchases. And look at this. You can just hang like keys and photographs and whatever off of this. And this one you could use for jewelry, obviously. They, it's almost like they really thought of everything. Look at these. Don't you use these? And the ones that go around? I do. It just, uh, it encourages you to hoard more products. Good stuff. Products, products, products. Okay, so that was a quick walking tour of the at-home superstore. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> right. Finley and I had to wake Daddy up so that we get our breakfast. Continental breakfast? <laughs> so yesterday we got rained out at the waterfall, so that you know what that means. We're going today. And it's actually nice out because I've been up since like 5.15. <laughs> Just waiting to go eat. Oh, this is in there sweating and shit. Like yeah. all like wet. I like went, I was like, I gotta go grab something out of the car, so, cause I had to go grab like a top out of the car. And I grabbed her top too, Coochie. And then I came back up. I came in the room and it smelled like BO. I was like, well, thank God we having a girl, cause like, can't be having a stinky boy stinking up the, the hotel room. It's like, it smelled like just BO. Guys are stinky. Not true. It smelled like that only went in there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right, let's do it. Key elevator music. <laughs> it's this one. Is there anything left? There's not really anybody here. That's why what I said we gotta go down now because there's no one down here. What kind of break do they got? They got all the stops in the shop. Really? Yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah. And waffles? Yeah. But it's not messy like our waffle maker. Yeah. Thank you very much. Papa needed help with the uh, waffle machine. Not the main waffle guy in here. It's like a That's what it looked like. That's okay. That's okay. Those are terry cloths. This yeah, microfiber. Ones. Yeah, the ones that you. No, no, no. Those are the cleaning ones, Bon. There's one the other one. You got your Kuji on? Yeah, it's in style. About to go to the waterfall. Mm -hmm. First time. Silk, baby. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Oh, thank you. She could she would have given you a microfiber one. No. Nah. You're like, I'm in room. Yeah, the one room. 
Oh, they'd be like, oh, oh, the queen, the queen. Mm-hmm. The princess room. Oh my god, I have to fart. And do it. Pregnant ladies can't be farting in public. That's just disrespectful. <laughs> Ruin all of these can. people's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you, should light, you should just light up the whole breakfast area. I know, I might be slipping out. I might have to go to the car first. Okay, we are finally going to go to the waterfall. Never been to it. Um, what's it called? Do you know? Um, Patterson Waterfall, something? Uh, we'll show you guys when we get there. Yeah, we'll show you. Let's do it. No way, this is beyond epic. Look at these flowing waterfall. We gotta get up there, up on that bridge. That's where we need to go. So flash to a shot of us standing on that bridge with the waterfall in the background. Go now. <laughs> How cool is this? Very cool. Should I put, keep my bag in here? I would leave it. Everything behind. Dun, dun, dun. Hold on. Be careful. Just be careful. It's a steep set. Way to the world is love. That's cool. Look, there's pigeons. There's pigeons. <laughs> Where me and Daddy? Oh my God, this is so cool looking. Would you swim down in there? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Should we go see how close we can get? You think it's gonna be scary down there? Yes. Yeah. Wow. What? Look at the goose 
Yeah, and look at this one. No, he's not. Look in the nest. Hey. That's dangerous. Wow. Look at this. Get this shot though, right here. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Look at this. We gotta go over there. We gotta go over there. This one. <laughs> Why they don't let us in? They didn't let us in. Okay, we gotta go to the other side because the main bridge was closed to get a good, good view. We're gonna head over there now. Did you pee in here? No. Just laugh. But like, look at this chicken. Is he snacking hungry? Should I pour some food over there for him? Yeah. Hi, baby. Are you hungry? That's like a long haired no no. We just found a cat randomly. I'll go check out the scene. I got Check this out. Hey, baby. Oh, oh he's so chonky. I wonder if they go all the way up and around to feed him. You could pour some right there, like on that slab of. I mean, they'll eat it. Yeah, do they look like they got snacks though, or no? Really. That's what I'm saying. It's like a nice plate. There There's definitely more than one cat in there. I can tell you that right off the bat. You gave him some snake snakes? Yeah, I see him still. <laughs> I sent her a video. This is a national park though. Maybe that's why they're putting money into it. We made it to the other side. Now we're gonna see the real waterfall from the best angle possible. Let's do it. Should have brought your rain slicker. This is real cool. Cause it's about to get wet, baby. Watch out there, make sure it's not uh slippery. Yeah. Good thing we went today and not yesterday. Ow! Look at the rainbow! It's so cool! This is the coolest thing I've seen in so long. Yeah, you gotta get closer. Wow!
you can see the rainbow so clear. It looks like freaking the Hobbit, that grass. It's so cool. Because it's always just getting water, so it just keeps growing. Wow. Coolest thing ever. All right, we made it up here. And we're soaking wet now. Soaking wet. <laughs> it's all over <laughs> your glasses and everything. It's great, all over my phone. So that's the Patterson Waterfall in New Jersey of all places. That was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it as much as we did. Now we got to drive back home. All right, so this, this trip has been the gift that keeps on giving or just adventuring, I guess. We came to this outlet thrift store and we may actually have been here before one time. Looks kind of familiar. This one? Yeah. yeah. Dress to impress. That's not it. That's my type of store They would have dresses in there for you. Alright, so this is it. The warehouse outlet. They're just claiming, well, that's the beauty of that bag. Yep. General merchandise. Look at this guy's suit. Wagging it up. Is this? You got shoes here? Yeah, I sold them. Oh, nice. I don't remember that getting his shoes here, but I remember this store. They were store. like white. Uh, 25 for that one. Wow. That's heavy. Sick. Just like a random t shirt is like five, six bucks. Wow. Beat next. This is a nice Adidas windbreaker. Very nice, actually. I don't know about the $15, but it's nice. Kenneth Cole jacket. All right, look at this color block. Tippic. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. This is Sammy style. You like this? Or not really? Yeah. What? This is so cool. I mean, it's probably the coolest thing they can have in here. This is really cool. The color black is so. Okay, made it back home. It's beautiful out. Had a really, really good birthday trip. Feels great to be 31 and a baby on the way. Um, my birthday was not today, obviously. It was two days ago, but we went on a little day trip, overnight day trip up north to North Jersey, somewhere we've never been. You know, we guys saw everything we did and it was super awesome, but I just feel really grateful to have had those experiences with Sammy and to just have the life that I have. It's pretty much all I can say. So, amazing birthday. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. We're gonna have some exciting content coming soon. This is just like a vlog and I'm happy people enjoy it and like watching it. Um, it does make us feel good that people just enjoy hanging with us and just going on trips with us. But check this out. When we went away, these were not all budded like this. Now the whole yard is filled with dandelions. Lucky, flower girl. Hey. Where you missed us? Did you miss us? Did you miss us? Good girl. <laughs>